Hell will be full of people who all their lives say that they are Christians. Hell is going to be full of people who talk about God every day. Hell is going to be full of people who are nice. Hell is going to be full of people who give to charity. Hell will be full of people who don't go to clubs, that don't drink, that don't curse. Hell will be full of people that are religious and devoted. Why? Because none of these things is what makes you a Christian. So let's discuss a few people that you know that claim that they are Christians. These people outwardly express how much they love God and how they're devoted to God. However, we're not hating these people. We're not judging anyone. We are just doing what the Word of God tells us to do in 2 Timothy chapter 4, which is preach the Word. It is ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience in teaching. So let's learn from this. Let's test ourselves today. So, let's check this video out right here. Take a look. I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. And what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. Now, in that clip you just watched, we just saw Will Smith at the Oscars talking about what God has called him to do. However, let's look at this clip. Let's look at some of these clips that I have for you and let's see what's really going on. Take a look at it. And I just really related to um, how the Gita handles those kinds of perplexing situations and recognizing that's what life is. You are born into a perpetual perplexing situation. The Christian concept about that, that I, I always heard and never understood fully, my grandmother would say all the time, you gotta let go and let God. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And it was, and it was like that, it just, you know, the, the, the Gita filled in that concept of what it really means. It Here we see Will Smith talking about and engaging in Hinduism. I thought he was just talking about God at the Oscars, right? However, he is actually relating his experiences with practices and teachings in the Hindu faith. Christians need to understand that there is one way to God and there is no truth in any other. Truth is not subjective to you. It's not subjective to me. It's not subjective to how hard we believe. It's not subjective to how we feel, all right? Truth is based on actuality and the reality of the matter. Truth is based on what is true, what is proven, what is actual. Therefore, because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, there can be no truth in any other. Jesus is the way. Now, Right now, I'm going to show you a clip of another person that you know. And I want you to pay close attention to the words that they say and everything that they're talking about. Take a look at it. I, I am a Christian. That is my faith. I'm not asking you to be a Christian. If you want to be one, I can show you how. <laughs> but it is not required. I have respect for all faiths. All faiths. All right, all right, I got them. That's cool, that's cool. I see everything that they're saying, but take a look at this clip. This one is going to really open up your eyes. But many paths no to what you call God. That and is her path crazy. might be something else, and when she gets there, she might call it the light. But her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her, to, if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not. And I get All right, so this goes back to what we were talking about before. A Christian is not someone who acts nice, who talks about God a lot, or who grew up in a Christian family. No, a Christian is one who trusts in Jesus Christ alone for their salvation. How can you claim that you are a Christian, yet you do not believe that Christ is God. You don't believe that Jesus is God alone. Yes, 
We have to understand that when people are ashamed to proclaim the truth about God and how Jesus is the only way, they are now preventing people from hearing the gospel. There are not many paths. There are not many gods. The Bible says, enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way leads to destruction. But those who enter it are many, for the gate is narrow that leads to life, and those who find it are few. See, every other religion is work-based, saying that you have to try hard to be saved. You have to try hard to reach enlightenment. You have to work and work. However, Jesus tells us, Jesus knows that we cannot be good on our own terms. We're not good enough. We are down and depraved and sinful in ourselves. So Jesus was good for us, paid the penalty for us, paid the price on the cross for us. And if we trust in him, if we turn unto Jesus, repent of our sins, we could have life. Trusting in Jesus and his finished work alone. Trusting in Jesus Christ. So before we get to this last clip, I want you to right now click the subscribe button and comment down below a question that you have or comment something that is on your heart pertaining to this topic. I would love to engage with all of you. Now I'm going to tell you one more person that we all know and we're going to analyze this clip together. So take a look at it. But I learned along the way Everything that's happening to you is God is processing it. Every difficult moment you're having, he just processing it. That's all he's doing. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. And if you need to be tough when you get to where you're going, then he's going to toughen you. God is amazing. Okay. So being a Christian is not about trying to be good or following biblical principles or Bible stories or biblical ideas, right? It is about trusting in Jesus Christ alone, like we talked about, and repenting of our sins and surrendering to Jesus Christ and his work on the cross. Amen? There's no one, one way to heaven, no one way to paradise. It's like television. Now it's over 800 channels of cable and they're all pretty entertaining. So I'm pretty sure, man, that to get to heaven, there's got to be more than one route. And because somebody watching another channel or taking another channel than you, they still getting entertained and they probably still getting to heaven. You have to understand that only Jesus can save you. Only Jesus can die for you and only Jesus can rise out of the grave for your justification. Remember, the intensity of your belief does not make what you believe true. Let me give you an example to clarify for you. Imagine that we're in school and there's a test that's given and one of the questions on the test, the main question is what is two plus two? Now, no matter how much I want or how much I believe that two plus two is equal to seven, no matter how much I believe that two plus two is equal to eight, no matter how much I believe that two plus two equals nine, the answer is not true and I'm not going to pass the test. No matter how much I would wish or how much I would desire or how I'm devoted to 10, 11, or 12, if I do not answer the question but four, which is the true statement, then I will not pass the test. And it is the same thing with God because just like mathematics, it has truth to it. God's word is truth right? The Bible is all truth and anything that contradicts it, anything that goes against it or anything that is not in alignment with God's word cannot be accepted. So test yourselves today. Are you trusting in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation? Are you surrendered to God, understanding that he is needed for your salvation, that you need to be saved? And are you willing to repent of all of your sins and trust in Jesus Christ and turn to Jesus Christ, not trusting in anything else and not going to him for anything else except for mercy, salvation, forgiveness, and his grace. So I hope you were encouraged by this video. Please share this video to someone that you know and also subscribe down here to the Core of the Matter Youth Ministry. It's such a wonderful thing to be able to come together and tell you these things, tell you these truths today.